Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to learn about composite function. What is composite function? Now let's look at this picture. If you still remember in my first video of introduction to function, we imagine function as a factory. Let's take the first factory as factory A. Factory A will transform milk into a cheese and then the cheese will be sent to another factory which is factory B where it is transformed into a cheesecake. So you can see that the cheese which serves as the output for factory A has now become the input for factory B. So in other words, composite function is a combination of two or more functions in a manner where the output from one function becomes the input for the next function. Composite function can be written in this form, f composed with g or it can be written in this simplified manner f of g of x in this example the rightmost function which is g of x is also called the inner function meanwhile the leftmost function f of x is also called the outer function please note that f of g of x is not equivalent to f of x multiplied by g of x. Sequence plays an important role in composite function. Let's take for example, if we write f of g of x, it means x will first go through the function g of x and subsequently the function f of x. If we write g of f of x, it means x will first go through the function f of x and subsequently g of x. Now let's look at the first example. You are given two functions f of x equals to 2x plus 3 and g of x equals to x minus 5. Question A find f of g of 2 and question b find g of f of 2 question a to find f of g of 2 you must understand the sequence in composite function start with the rightmost one and work towards the left in this case you must first solve g of 2 substitute 2 in the function g of x and you get the answer negative 3 then substitute negative 3 in the function f of x and finally get the answer negative 3 question b to find g of f of 2 first you must solve f of 2 substitute 2 into function f of x and you get 2 times 2 plus 3 and you get the answer 7. Substitute 7 into function g of x and you finally get the answer 2. Let's look at the second example. You are given two functions f of x equals to 2x plus 1 and g of x equals to x squared plus 3. Question A. Find f of g of x. Question B. Find g of f of x. Question C. Find f of g of 1. Question A. To find f of g of x, you need to substitute the function g of x, which is x squared plus 3, into the function f of x where you get 2 multiplied 
x squared plus 3 plus 1. And finally, you get the answer 2x squared plus 7. Question B. To find g of f of x, you need to substitute f of x, which is 2x plus 1, into function g of x, where you get 2x plus 1 squared plus 3. And finally, you get the answer 4x squared plus 4x plus 4. Question C. To find f of g of 1, since you have found f of g of x equals to 2x squared plus 7, you just need to substitute 1 into the function, which you get the answer 9. Alternatively, you can use this method. First, you solve g of 1. After you get the answer, you substitute it into function f of x and you should get the same answer 9. Now let's look at the third example. You are given f of x equals to 2x minus 1. Question A. Find f squared of x. Question B. Find f cubed of x. To answer question A, f squared of x is actually equals to f of f of x. So you substitute f of x, which is 2x minus 1, into its own function. 2 times 2x minus 1 minus 1. And finally, you get the answer 4x minus 3. Question B. To find f cube of x, you may write it in two different ways. f of f squared of x or f squared of f of x. Either way, you will still get the same answer. In first method, you are actually substituting f squared of x into the function f of x. In the second method, you are actually substituting f of x into the function f squared of x. And finally, you get the same answer, 8x minus 7. Please take note that f squared of x is not equal to the whole function f of x squared. Now let's look at the fourth example. You are given two functions, f of x equals to 3x and g of x equals to x minus 1. Find the composite function for each of the following function. To answer question A, you are given h of x equals to 3x minus 1. To find the composite function, you must first identify the innermost function. In this case, notice 3x is actually the function f of x. So, f of x is the innermost function, followed by g of x. So, in conclusion, g of f of x equals to 3x minus 1. Question B. You are given h of x equals to 3 multiplied by x minus 1. We use the same method. Notice x minus 1 is actually the function g of x. Therefore, g of x is your innermost function, followed by the outermost function, which is the f of x. Therefore, your answer is f of g of x. Question C. You are given h of x equals to x minus 2. You need to expand x minus 2 into x minus 1 minus 1. Notice x minus 1 is g of x. Therefore, 
g of x is your innermost function and your outermost function is also g of x so your answer is g squared of x now let's try this question Now, this question tests your ability to solve complex fractions and also your ability to identify number pattern when you get f squared of x and f cubed of x. Now let's look at this example. You are given f of x equals to 2x plus 5 and f of g of x equals to 2x minus 15. Find g of x. This question asks you to find the innermost function which is g of x. Therefore, substitute g of x into the function f of x you get 2 multiply g of x plus 5 equals to 2x minus 15 and therefore you get the final answer g of x equals to x minus 10 now let's look at the second example you are given f of x equals to 2x plus 5 and g of f of x equals to x minus 4. Find g of x. If you notice, g of x is actually the outermost function in this composite function. To answer this question, first, you must rewrite the composite function. g of f of x equals to x minus 4. g of 2x plus 5 equals to x minus 4 then you must let y equals to 2x plus 5 and you get x equals to y minus 5 divided by 2 then substitute y minus 5 divided by 2 into g of y and you get the answer y minus 13 divided by 2 Therefore, g of x equals to x minus 13 divided by 2. Now, let's try this question. This question is a little tricky. Hope you get the correct answer. Good luck! That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.